Well, I, I thought in the uh, first half, quite honestly, I thought we got lucky. They missed some great open looks. I thought our defense in the second half was much better. Um, you know, they're, they're very difficult to stop, and they still had some shots they could have made. But I thought our defense was a lot better. And then um, Greg and DJ just carried our offense, and we made some threes again. So um, a good night all around. And then the other thing is, obviously, we dominated on the glass. Um, Andre didn't have a great night all around, but, I mean, you know, he gets 19 rebounds. You don't even, like, <laughs> you don't even notice, you know. So him with 19 and Greg with 18, and we dominated on, on the board. So I thought that was huge. DJ picked up that technical in the fourth, and he comes down and hits back-to-back threes. What was it like watching him during that stretch? Well, look, he played great last night. Um, and uh, all you guys were ready to kill me if we had lost last night for for taking him out of the game, which probably I would have deserved. Um, but, you know, one of the things I really like tonight is we finished with almost an entirely different group than we finished with last night, you know. And at one point, like 4.40 to go, I turned to my assistants on the bench. I said, do we want any subs? And I had Brandon and Andre standing up going, hell no. <laughs> you know, this group's rocking. I mean, so... That's what we've got right now, attitude-wise, is it's different people every night, and nobody seems very concerned about it. They just want to try to win games. You talked about DJ being mild-mannered, so it was kind of odd to see him pick up that technical foul. Could you read that he was going to try to be more aggressive the next couple no. times? No, but he, uh, you know, he made big shots. He made big plays, so uh, great job on his part. And, you know, I mean, a, a great two-game trip for him. Your bench in general, I mean, but Greg and Andre, obviously huge boards tonight, but Jonas with nine, uh, also hustled down. Yeah, no, I, I thought again, I mean, you know, everybody we put in makes a contribution, and um, that's why we're playing well right now. Stan, let's turn this thing around for you guys. Seven-game winning streak, longest in the last six years. Well, we're, we've gotten better at both ends of the floor. The ball's going in the basket. That, that helps quite a bit when the ball goes in. It not only helps, obviously, for the reason the ball goes in and you score points. But I just think, you know, it gets your energy up when things are going well. And so we've also defended a lot better. But I also, our group, I don't know why, but, you know, started December the 22nd on, we had three days of practice. And from then on, it's just been different. Guys have worked harder. They've been more attentive, a lot more together. I mean, again, we don't have guys that are getting concerned about who's in the game or their playing time or their shots or, or anything else. They just want to win games. So you have guys, four guys that were in the game in a great win last night at the end, sitting on the bench on the sideline tonight and loving every minute of it. You know, Greg Monroe didn't get in in the fourth quarter last night. Tonight, Andre doesn't play in the fourth quarter. They're into the game. Brandon doesn't get back in. KCP doesn't get back in. You know, and guys are into the game. 